Welcome back everyone. Today I'm taking a look at a beer that I'm happy to finally buy on a somewhat regular basis here in San Diego and that's Bones Goose Marriage Parfait. I don't know, probably butchering that, some Frenchy pronunciation. It's an 8% um, traditional old goose, 100% spontaneously fermented, you know, minimum three years, all that stuff. So let it warm up a bit. Let's get it poured out. I haven't had this in a long time, and it's good to see it on shelves again around here. Because used to, I, I think for a while, and I don't know if you can tell, it's a 2013 vintage. For a while, you had to order this from Belgium to be able to even drink it so yeah oh, great aroma great funk fruitiness white wine um, overripe like stone fruit and ripe stone fruit um, wet hay Yeah, very kind of vinous, fruity. Yeah, it smells great. Let's dig in. Cheers. Probably not as tart as I remember it, I've, or maybe it could be a vintage thing, but yeah, a little bit of acidity. It's a couple days before Thanksgiving, and it is crazy hot out here, so this is very refreshing. Favorite wise, pick up a little oak. More of like a dried, really sweet dried uh, apricot or character to it. There's like a fuzzy kind of white peach skin kind of thing going on. A little bit of um, sweet red apple. A uh, bit of a white wine character to it. Not as funky on the flavor. A little bit of lemony uh, tartness on the finish. Yeah, it's, I, I like the acidity level on this. It's not completely mouth puckering. Just a, a very slight, clean lactic acid character. Makes it really refreshing. 8%. Don't notice any alcohol on it. And that's kind of the thing. If you notice, a lot of Lambics, they say they're like 5%, but the reality is they don't even know. Uh, and I've seen lab, te lab testing of Cantillon's and they've been as high as eight or nine percent too. So can't always go by what they say on the label. So um, yeah, this is, I know a lot of, uh, sort of some of the bone stuff can be back sweetened and I think they're getting away from a lot of that. And uh, this is definitely a classic uh, recommended picking this one up for sure. It's gonna age for a long time. I mean. I can't find Cantillon on shelves here, but I can find this. It's it's a solid replacement. I, I prefer Cantillon's regular goose over this because that has a lot more funk to it. But this one has a really nice fruitiness and is a little more uh, vinous than the Cantillon, so I dig it. So check this one out if you can. Until next time, please comment and subscribe. Cheers.